Mark, I wanted to talk to you about Vital Statistics of a Citizen Simply Obtained, which is a videotape that you made in 1977. And perhaps we could start by um, talking about how you came to make the tape. What, what inspired you to make it? Well, it was a performance in 1973. It was at the Art Gallery of the University of California where I was a graduate student. Uh, I thought it should be a video because I wanted to have this kind of tension of somebody sort of watching a rather boring long shot of a woman being measured and taking off her clothes against the idea of this woman is taking off her clothes. You know, so you had this play of um, concentration and distance and boredom. I insisted on performing it straight through. There was only one take. We didn't redo it. We didn't stop. Uh, the camera was never turned off. So it was a performance in that sense because the idea of the external and internal judgment of women and people of color uh, was an important issue for me. The work came out of my seeing a book on measurement in the um, library at the University of California, how to measure women, and another one, how to measure children, which seemed to be designed for pattern production, but in fact, in my opinion, was actually about eugenics mm -hmm. and racial typing because there were a series of protocols at the back that said what to do if you are in a position where you cannot avoid measuring a Negro. These books were from the 30s uh, or 40s, but I was really shocked that they were still in the collections. And the fact that they had been published by the government really made me sad uh, and angry. I wanted a tall, thin woman, a middle-sized woman, and a short and slightly dumpy woman. Um, because they were measuring me against the standard of the average, and so they should not just be the average, but rather represent the range of women's mm. body types. Of course, the work is about women, but it's also, as in a lot of my work, about the social judgment. Mm -hmm. It's a more abstract level of judgment, the social judgment. And what was the difference between the performance of the piece and the videotape of the piece, do you think? With the performance, people were left to try and determine what exactly is at stake here. Whereas with the video, I told you. Mm. Yeah. <laughs> I was very clear that it is about measurement internalized by women and the production of a kind of uh, self, uh, a kind of externally imposed narcissism, mm. and about the measurement of others on the outside, but particularly for women body types, and um, about um, the way that these things are encoded into state mechanisms. And can you talk about the final part of the video? That's the slideshow of the shots from the measurement book, and it shows little boys and little girls and adult women being measured and it starts it's the same order of measurement and then there's this litany of crimes against women which was from uh, a tribunal that a woman had done on crimes against women and i was taken by this idea of crimes against women because it wasn't something commonly heard um, that women in particular could be the focus of a litany of crimes the combination of somebody, as in Vital Statistics, talking about the way women are judged and then uh, excluded on the basis of gender from good jobs and are forced to think about their appearance first, was never put together with questions of rape and domestic violence and the question of access to abortion or being forced to have an abortion. So putting them both in the same work, I think, was a reminder that women uh, as beings are in categories beyond the questions of citizenship, which is what the work is called. Mm -hmm. uh, I think people seeing that now don't see the disjunct yeah. between that bodily crimes of the last part and the question of measurement, which of course is abstract, which is the first part. Right. Right.